In this demonstration, we're going to be taking a look at the various reporting capabilities that are built into the Sage Sales Logics web client. First off, we're going to look at the My Dashboard screen, and on this screen is a variety of different mini reports that I can configure and control how I want it to look and how it's laid out as an individual user. I've also got a sales tab that I built that shows me various pipeline and opportunity related data in pie charts, bar charts, and line graphs. And again, as a user, I have complete control over how this is laid out and what data I see when I land on that tab. Now we'll go to the accounts view and I have the ability to take any one of my tabs that represents a group of records and export those out to Excel by clicking on export to file over on the right hand side under common tasks. Say yes, open the file. And there's all the data sitting in Excel and I can do anything I need to do with that now including send that to other users or maybe paste it into some other Word document or report for uh, a meeting. Now we'll go back into Sales Logics and click on the Abbott Limited account record. And I also have a button over here under Common Tasks called Detail Report. By clicking on that, it brings up a parameter screen. I can say yes or no to the different types of data that I want to show on this report. You can see that it's going to bring in activities, opportunities, history, and notes because I've answered yes to all those questions for Abbott Limited. And when I click OK, it generates the report for me. The end result is a 10 page report that shows me virtually every piece of data that there is regarding Abbott Limited. And from this screen in the Crystal Viewer, I can print it, save it as a file if I wish, or email it to make it portable and take it with me. Last, I'll show you the reports area, and here's where a variety of built-in or out-of-the-box reports come standard with the Sage SalesLogic CRM system. You can use these as they are or use them as templates and modify them and make your own. You can also apply a filter to any of these reports to restrict the data. Once you have your filter built, click on View the Report, and it'll bring that report up on the screen for you. So that's a demonstration of the Sage Sales Logics reporting capabilities. Thanks for watching.